Like many devices in Reason, Kong has got a really flexible output routing system and it's able to push most of its drum sounds or all of its drum sounds to various sources within the application and even to other applications through Rewire. So let's have a little look at how you break out the individual drum sounds from Kong and get them to, say, a mixer within Reason. So first of all, we need to flip Kong around and we're going to use a tab key for that. Now, as we saw in one of the very early videos that gave you a brief overview of the rear panel, we've got 16 separate outputs. Two of them take up the main audio output and these are the ones that Kong uses by default. And then the remaining 14 are actually unused currently and separate pairs. So three and four, five and six, seven and eight, and so on, are actually stereo pairs that we can use to break out into other devices or other mixers. So let's try it. Let's try breaking out a drum sound into a mixer. So let's make a mixer. We're gonna make a standard mixer here. I'm gonna open up the hardware interface and disconnect the main outputs of Kong. I'm going to route the mixer's output to the mastering combinator we're using just to limit our output. And we're pretty much ready to go. If you like, you can move the mixer up here so it's a little bit out of the way. And I'm going to route the main outputs back to channel one and two of the mixer. So right now we're going to hear exactly the same as we did before. So let's play it. The only difference is that you can actually see the Kong's main outputs going into this first mixer channel. What I really want to do is say, take this snare drum here, snare drum number three, and send it to a separate channel in the mixer. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, I'm gonna take outputs three and four, whoops, outputs three and four, to the second channel of our mixer. So you can see that's rooted quite nicely. And it automatically takes both of them, as it does in many stereo situations, to our stereo destination. So let's flip Kong back around. And this is the money shot here. We really have to do the routing at the bottom. And it's drum specific. So if we select a different pad, we can see this currently remains the same. It's all going to master effects, but select the snare and we're going to send it to output three and four. Now our master effects are going to outputs one and two. This is by standard, so what we need to do is turn off any effects that are getting sent, and we should get an absolute signal to three and four. We can then add our own reverb from a different unit through the mixer. We could simply add an advanced reverb unit and send it here. Little intense, but you get the picture. So this gives us much more flexibility to process and mix our sounds. Let's do it with one more sound just to make sure that you've got the idea. What about this tom sound here? So drum number 12, we'll send it to Outputs five and six. We'll flip Kong around. We'll take five and six, route it to the next mixer channel. Turn down its effects so it's an absolute send. So there you go. We've got sounds routed to three stereo inputs on our mixing desk, and we can start mixing them and adding extra effects. Next, we'll take a look at the auxiliary sends and how we can set up effects chains within Kong.